Imagine, imagine a world where service is the forefront of how everyone would live, of how everyone would interact, of how everyone would be conversing with each other. How would that world look like to you? You know, I've spent many years in the hospitality industry. Actually, I'm pretty excited. I'm back to Montreux after graduating from the Hotel Institute of Montreux after 36 years. So, Montreux has had a very special place in my heart. And I'm so happy to be back here with all of you. But as I think back on this journey of mine, one thing comes to me. Because I'm curious, why do you sometimes experience great service? And why do you sometimes don't get so great service? What will it take for us as individuals, for you, to make that transition, to have this power to serve it forward? Wow, John, what is serve it forward? What does that mean? So let me illustrate with a story, or perhaps a question to you. Now, we were taught to be in service industry. When you smile at someone, what do you expect? When you give a smile to someone, what do you expect in return? You expect a smile to come back to you, right? Okay, now, what if you smile at someone, right? Turn to the person next to you on your left and right, give them a smile, okay? You get a smile? Pretty good. All right, I see some lovely smiles there. But what if you give a smile to someone and you did not get a smile coming back to you? How would you feel then? Would you feel a little bit awkward? It's like, hey, you know, I, I gave you a smile and, and you didn't get a smile coming back. So, I would like to share with you this way of living. And let's see whether you will be able to create a movement, a ripple. So, this is how it goes. You give a smile to someone, and when you get a smile coming back to you, it is called a bonus. It is called a bonus. bonus. All right, you're doing well. Now, when you give a smile to someone, and for whatever reason, you do not get a smile coming back to you. It is called a gift to someone. It is called a gift to someone. Now, when you give a gift to someone, do you expect things to come back? No, right? If it comes back, it is a bonus. If it doesn't come back for whatever reason, it is your gift to that someone. So let me share a practical story with you on uh, one of my experiences on this power of serving it forward. You know, I've spent 20 years working in the hospitality industry, and during that time, I had this opportunity to support one of the general managers uh, from Marriott International, and he was setting up a hotel in Surabaya in Indonesia. And as it was setting up, I was entrusted to be part of the task force team. So I spent a couple of time, I was working in Kuala Lumpur, I'm from Malaysia, and I spent a couple of times working with his team member. So one of the Sundays, he saw me working and he said, hey John, why don't you take a little bit of time and begin to see a little bit of Surabaya, since it was my first time there. And I told Jim, Jim, you know what, L let me just work with your team, and when I have time, I will go around and see a little bit of Surabaya. So never did I know that particular incident had a lasting impression on him. Fast forward many years later. So after 20 years, I decided to embark on a different journey in my career. So moving on from hospitality, I move on to the world of professional speaking, to the world of learning and development, and to the world of executive coaching. Now, it was an exciting, exciting exhilarating experience. Woo I'm moving on to something new. The first month after I've gone through that, I left my 
very comfortable 20 years of life as a hotelier, and I went into this world. But after one month, guess what? Uh, not, nothing much came. You know, after two months, I was still excited. After two months, still nothing much came. After three months, I was going out, seeing customers, reaching, telling people. Nothing much came back. By the fourth month, nothing much came. By the fifth month, and that's the time that my wife got really, really concerned. And he said, John, you know, you were comfortable in your career. Why rock the boat? Anyone ever experienced this before? The closest people to you are the one that are the most concerned. And I said, hey, you know, darling, I know it looks really, really scary, but just have faith with me, all right? So I'm, I'm only into this journey about five months. I don't think I want to go back there. Give me a chance. You know, I, I will make this happen. And very interestingly, uh, by the fifth month, there was this opportunity from Shanghai. So there was a regional group of hotels. They were looking for a sales speaker to work with their regional teams. And that program was supposed to happen in Bali, in Indonesia. So they wrote out a note, and one of the general managers said, hey, you know, why don't you reach out to John? Perhaps John is able to do it. So I wrote in my recommendation on how to support that team, and that lady, the vice president of sales and marketing, wrote to all the general managers in Indonesia. Guess what? I got the job. And I was curious. Hmm, what led to it? What led to this amazing opportunity? And later, I found out that this general manager in Surabaya, Mr. Jim Balls, he remembered that particular incident many years ago. And he told the vice president, he said, you know what? If John is the guy, if he's the person from Marriott, he should be the right partner for us. And because of his word and endorsement, I had this amazing opportunity. And then as I reflected back, I asked Jim, hey Jim, thank you so much for your kind words. So what made a difference? And he said, John, because of what you did that Sunday, I knew you would be committed 110% to help our team grow and be successful. Wow. I never knew that time back when I helped him in Surabaya could make such a transformational change. And that is when I believe in the power of serving it forward. You know, when you do things for other people without expecting things to come back, magical moment comes back. How many of you would agree with it? When you least expect things, if it comes back, it is a bonus. If not, it is your gift. So it was my gift to Jim at that time. But when I needed it most, when I went full time, it came back big time to me. So I'd like to share a quick model with you with this, four, this acronym that talks about how you can serve it forward. So these four lessons is, first of all, you want to serve it forward with compassion. Right? Begin to think about the people that you are in your circle. How can you show more random acts of kindness? Maybe a phone call. Ask people how they are doing. We need to show more compassion in the world today because we are in a world that is being challenged. Mental wellness, mental well-being is so high on the agenda of leaders. So what can you do to make a difference? Begin to show more empathy. Be a better listener. Serve it forward. Spend more time listening to your community, to the people closest to you. That's the first one, compassion. Second one, be really authentic in your approach. Serve it forward with authenticity. Be a little bit vulnerable. Be a little bit open. Expose yourself because the more authentic you are, it just shows people that you are human after all. So begin to think, how can you develop more authenticity in your life? The third one is called relationship. How many of you believe relationship is really important? Yeah, absolutely. 
right? Absolutely. So again, consider how can you nurture the relationship that you have? How can you serve it forward with the relationship that you can build? Nurture those relationships. Begin to build those connections. Serve it forward with your time, your care, and the things that is going to make you amazing as a person to live with, to work with, to enjoy with. And the final one, the E, is for empowerment. So as you begin to serve it forward, how can you help other people to become better in their work? How can you help other people to also succeed by mentoring, by helping them to grow? So there you have the acronym, C-A-R-E, Compassion, Authenticity, Relationship, and Empowerment. And when you begin to serve it forward, you will begin to create the kind of ripple in your community. So as you move out today, as you listen to the different speakers, as you go back to your home, I'd like to challenge you. How will you serve it forward from today onwards? What gifts would you like to do today? Because remember, are you going to be awakened with this opportunity to create something magical, something that is going to come back big time to you? But it starts with a gift that you give to others, and that is the power of serving it forward. Can you turn to the person on your left and right and ask them, are you ready to serve it forward? Turn to the person on your left and right and ask them, are you excited and ready to serve it forward? If you are, can you give them a high five, right? And say, I am committed to serve it forward. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to challenge you with this opportunity to create ripples. When you begin to serve it forward with care, C-A-R-E. The magical moments will be tremendous. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to share with you.